What happens when you mix water, heat, and an organic material? Well, you get mold. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that when we decided to uh, take that bookshelf down. Now I've, now I've got a serious problem on my hands. I have more mold. <clears throat> I have a lot of mold and I got it all over the place and it's going to have to be taken care of before I can move on with my renovations and make this place more energy efficient. You can see I'm wearing some funky clothing. I got my hoodie, my little vest here, I can't even get it on. So I'm ready to go, but I'm, you know, taking all the precautions to make sure that I don't get mold all over my body, to make sure that I don't get it in my lungs, to make sure I don't get it in my eyes, on my hands, or anything else. So if you have a project like this, you can actually do it if you take a lot of precautions. I have completely air sealed this room off from the rest of the house. I've turned off the HVAC equipment, my furnace is off, my air conditioning is off. It will not turn on. And the reason that I want that to happen is the last thing I want to do is have my furnace turn on and suck all these mold spores into my furnace and then blow them all around the rest of my house. So there's, it's possible to take care of this. I'm going to do it. I feel comfortable doing it. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, if you have a large spot like this, take precautions or call a professional. There's no doubt that this can make you extremely sick. And if you have a baby on the way like I do, or you have infants or young children or the elderly in your home, they're very susceptible to some of the mold spores and it can make them very sick and it'll make the normal person sick just in general. So I'm gonna to try to avoid getting sick. Of course, if I do, I'll let you know what it's like, but uh, in reality, I think I'm pretty well covered here. But I am doing every possible thing the EPA recommends to make sure that I don't get sick and nobody else in this house gets sick. So the next step is gonna be for me to actually cut this drywall out, put it in black plastic bags, seal them up really good and get rid of this. So in order to get rid of the mold, you need to be extremely careful. It's really, the last thing you wanna do is to stir up this mess. So I'm carefully removing each piece. And you can see here, the mold is coming off very easily. It actually ate the paper, most of the paper that was on the other side of the drywall. It's actually consumed it. So right here in the middle, where I'm scoring this with a razor knife, it was coming off really easily. Now, I'm running a razor knife and cutting sections off just to make sure that I stay focused where I'm at and I don't just start tearing the paper off and releasing mold spores into the air. So I delicately remove the paper, then fold it in half, and then I'll put it in a trash bag and put, close the trash bag up. Sometimes you'll need to use a, either a putty knife or maybe, I, I was using a five-in-one tool to do it here, but it helped keep the paper from tearing. Some of the spots, the mold hadn't quite eaten all the way through the paper. Now that the majority of the mold's gone, I can start tearing the wall apart. So I'm carefully cutting into the drywall and carefully removing the drywall because drywall is basically two pieces of paper wrapped around a gypsum core. And the gypsum is a cement-based product, which isn't organic. But as you can see here, the mold is on the back of the drywall. So I'm being very careful. And the drywall actually falls apart because there's no piece of paper holding it together anymore. So you never know what's going to happen with mold. You never know where it's going to go. It could be going all the way to the ceiling. It could be on the other side of this wall right here. I'm not exactly sure. I can see the insulation has um, mold in it. You can see it right there. So I know this insulation all has to go. I don't know what's on the other side of that wall. The other side of that wall may have um, drywall problems. I might have to remove all the drywall on the other side of that yet. So you want to make sure you get rid of all of the mold and wipe the surfaces down and clean them with a the biocide and make sure like all of this framing is going to have to be you know clean with a biocide or some uh, coating to make sure that it doesn't reappear because the mold spores are going to be there. But the most important thing is for me to figure out exactly what's going on with this roof. So that's what I'm going to do next. See how it goes. If you're sick and tired of spending too much money on your energy bills, stop by my website at howtohomeinsulation.com 
You'll find the videos and information you need to start saving money on your energy bills right now. My name's Corey Binford. Thanks for watching.